Now, here's what matters for you. You may not know it, but you're most likely not doing that big bet on the game. You're much more like daily fantasy role players than in the straightforward bets on a given, given contest. Yet most of the people who come on our air, they live in a different universe from you. They're making these monstrous bets, not only on whether the Fed will cut or when, but they even try to guess what month it is. Notice I use the word guess. Their game is not your game. They actually are playing a game. You're investing. Money managers make these bets because if they don't drive short-term outperformance, their investors pull their money out. You do not have that problem, thank heavens. Frankly, I think today's Fed action in the selling aftermath makes it so that we can go back and start deciding what stocks we should pick up after the rubble. Daily reality investing, if you will. And what do we see? I see two markets that came into the earnings season, way, one way, way too hot, and the other one has not in. With this background of the Fed doing nothing, you've got to err on the side of picking players that haven't run too much. Because anything that's run too much can slip down, even on good numbers. Case in point, Alphabet. Really important. It's really a terrific quarter. We, we did some, by the way, if you want to check these companies, we did some great analysis in the investing club. And one thing I can tell you is this was a fantastic quarter. It's a return to growth for the all-important Google Cloud business, which is what we were worried about. I say... <laughs> Doesn't matter, though. Day after day for weeks now, analysts have been whispering tremendous things about the quarter to come. I have no idea how they got those projections, how they raised expectations so much. Why did they do it? Stupidity, showmanship, I do not know. Either way, we now need to get rid of all the daily fantasy, what I call streamers in Alphabet, and look for lower levels to do some buying. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com. Or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.